Hey guys, I'm Patrick. I'm the lead editor and producer at LumaForge, and today we're going to be talking about second system sound. What is second system sound, you might ask? Well, if you're on set and you're using a camera and a separate sound recording device, you're using second system audio. Now, I'm currently working on a feature film called Faith Based, which has given me all sorts of opportunities to experiment with synchronizing our camera to our audio. There are three main ways to synchronize your footage in post-production because your sound isn't immediately available with your video. The first way is to use a clapper board or a simple clap. And finding that exact moment when the clapper comes together and setting a marker both on your footage and on your audio. This is a very manual process and can take multiple hours because you're going through each and every shot twice and then you're taking both of those clips and telling your NLE to synchronize those two clips together. This can be a very long and arduous process if you're shooting hundreds of clips within a single day. The second way to synchronize everything is to use your audio waveforms. Now, synchronizing based on audio waveform, you're not doing this by hand. You're just telling your NLE of choice which video goes with which piece of audio, and then it is comparing the audio waveforms between the two and matching them up. This can actually be more accurate than doing things based on a clapper, because instead of being limited by the number of frames in the image, you can actually synchronize things per sample of audio, which is extremely precise. But in many cases, you do still have to go through and manually select the two clips that you want to put together. Now, if you're using something like a Pluralize or one of the batch syncing capable NLEs, then you can do this with far less work on your part. However, the computer is still going to take a decent amount of time to go through the audio waveform on both the video track and the audio track and make sure that everything is in synchronization. This does require that you have scratch audio. So if you've got a camera, you need to make sure that it has an internal mic or that you have some sort of mic running to that camera so that you have a way to match everything up based on audio waveform. We'll probably end up using audio waveforms to synchronize this exact video. However, if you're working in a situation where you have 40 or 50 clips or more, audio waveforms are not going to be your best friend. That brings us to our third way of synchronizing things, which is using timecode. Timecode is something that's very old. It's been around for an extremely long period of time, but it is actually still to this day the fastest way to synchronize your clips together. Now using timecode does oftentimes require additional gear. This can be a smart slate or some sort of timecode generator, or sometimes your field recorder can have a timecode generator in their sound recording device. This does require you to jam sync timecode multiple times throughout the day. If too much time passes between jamming sessions, then your footage can drift, which means that everything will be in sync at the beginning of the day, but even by lunchtime, you can be off by multiple frames between your camera and your audio. However, within the last few years, there have been multiple devices that have come out that allow you to synchronize things using radio frequencies between devices. What we've used on Faith-Based is this thing called the UltraSync One. The UltraSync is a very small device that allows you to plug in via SDI or LIMO, depending on what kind of a device you're connecting to. And because we've got one set as the master and two as slaves, one device is sending out timecode to the other two and telling them where we are with timecode and they are accurate to the frame. To the point that when we've gone into post, if we're off by a frame or two, all we have to do is go into our software and tell it to compensate by one or two frames and it ripples across the entire day's worth of dailies. This means something that could take an hour or two using a clapper or an hour using audio waveforms can take five seconds. This is a huge time saver and frees us up to be able to work on other things like applying script supervisor's notes or actually assembling scenes. Here at LumaForge, we're all about getting to the creative as fast as possible. Using timecode on a radio frequency or Wi-Fi based device is going to be the absolute fastest way that you can get your video and audio synchronized and is almost as good as running audio directly into your camera with the added benefit of allowing you to use as many tracks of audio as you need and having an audio professional monitoring your audio while you're recording. If you have any questions about how to use second system sound, let us know in the comments below and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.